Good morning. Welcome to Mission Basilica San Buenaventura. Today is January 8th, Friday. A light has risen in the darkness for the upright of heart. The Lord is generous, merciful, and just. Good morning to everyone who is joining us by live stream. For our parishioners, for those who join us at Mission Basilica San Buenaventura, you know it's an understatement to say these are turbulent times and challenging times, not alone with disease and COVID, but with politics and, and people's um, angst and disrespect for the dignity of each of us. If we proclaim to be pro-life, that means that in all things, not just with regards to conception, but in all things, that we are pro-life, that we respect the dignity. Now, we can differ, but we respect. And so we ask the God who can do all things, who wills that we respect and, and celebrate the dignity that we've been elevated, which is so representative in the incarnation in this nativity scene that we come together, that we respectfully express our challenges and decisions among each other, but that we respect and honor the God who creates, who calls us into one in unity with Him through Jesus Christ. And so yesterday I celebrated the funeral of Rigoberto Roberto Rangel, prisoner who succumbed to COVID. Yesterday, our dearly beloved Alicia Terran succumbed to COVID. It is real. We have to be vigilant, but we also offer our condolences, our compassion, our moved within as we are called to care for each other, to lift up the Terran family, the Rangel family, and all those who are suffering in any way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters and brothers, we are called to be unified, and that's what this Mass is about. Not only unified in this world as one holy Catholic apostolic church, but in unity with the, the heavens above with all the angels and saints, with the triune God who leads us, who has imprinted himself within us through baptism. And with that comes mercy. And divine mercy is letting go, forgiving, and respecting, loving. So let us mercifully pray for our country, pray for our world, pray for all those who are hurting in so many ways. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us bow our heads in prayer and recollect not only the intentions of the world and our nation, but even in our own personal lives, our family, our friends, those intentions that we ask the Lord to heal, to bless, to lift up. 
Cast your kindly light upon your faithful, Lord, we pray. And with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies and the Spirit is truth. So there are three who testify the Spirit, the water and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and his life is in his son. Whoever possesses the son has life. Whoever does not possess the son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. You who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children with you. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. He ordered, he he ordered, yes, yes, he has not made known to them. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to Luke. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him and said, Lord, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, 
I do will it, be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, and that will be proof for them. The report went out about him, spread through all all the more, and great crowds assembled to listen to him and to be cured of their ailments. But he would withdraw to his deserted places to pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Pope Francis has called us to pray for the world, to pray to the world, to offer Hail Marys and Our Fathers to be people centered on who we are and what we are about as Christians, as Catholics, as followers of Jesus and all that we do. And you know, there's so much out of our control. We need God. We need God. And so the ailments that are besetting us, whether they be physical, like a blood disease or anemia, whether it be the coronavirus or cancer, or whether it be diabetes or whatever, ailments, the physical ailments we have, or the psychological and spiritual ailments that so many of us experience, and the tragedies of the world that we see, the disorder, the lack of respect for human dignity in so many ways, we need to be cleansed. And so let us today, especially in prayer, turn to Jesus and say, Jesus, If you wish, you could heal us. And he said, I will, I do will it. He wills it through the sacramental life that we experience and live, ultimately through baptism, as we heard in that first reading, by the Holy Spirit, by water and the outpouring of blood, we are cleansed and made whole. So my brothers and sisters, today let us pray. Let us pray for all those needs we have. But let us also pray for our great nation. As Archbishop Jose Gomez said, we are one nation undivided under God. Right now there's some division going. And Jesus has said, when a house is divided, it cannot stand. So let us unite. Let us respect. Let us stop the bitterness. Let us take a step back. It's not going to happen overnight. But let us respect, even if we differ and outcomes let us respect you know during world war one that great uh, lyricist and musician irving berlin he wrote a beautiful prayer that turned into a song god bless america for those of us my age and older we remember the great kate smith who it became her song huh and we love to hear her belt it out So now let us pray for our nation in song. Let us today let our hearts ring with that melody that asks God's blessing to bless us. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. May that melody resonate in your hearts, your souls, and your minds this day and always. Amen. Now let us pray. Let us pray for our nation, for ourselves, for our families, for all those who are requesting our spiritual support 
Let us bring our prayers and petitions before our loving God, trusting in his compassion and mercy. For the church leaders, may the Holy Spirit continue to draw them ever closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in healing professions, may the Spirit sustain them as they work to provide compassion and care to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially those who suffer the effects of COVID-19, may the Lord comfort and strengthen them in their time of struggle. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of this faith community, may the Lord renew and deepen our faith and lead us to the greater joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Special intentions. We remember the repose of soul of Alicia Terran and for the consolation of her family, for the repose of soul of Rigoberto um, Rangel and for his family and Javier Rodriguez, all those who have gone before us marked by the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this Mass intention is for our parishioners, for all those who are the family of the Mission Basilica San Buenaventura, for your intentions, the intentions of your families, we pray to the Lord. Merciful and compassionate God, listen, we pray, to the prayers we bring before you and answer them in accordance with your divine will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. That humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us a new 
by glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plene sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, Robert, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, our blessed patrons, Buenaventura, Junipero Serra, Hattori Tekawitha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Mis hermanos, filas la recomendación del Salvador y seguir la divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdamos que no nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y libramos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concenos la paz en vuestros días. Para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de turbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo. Tú y es el reino, tu el poder y por la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz os dejo, mi paz os doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, conforme a tu palabra, con la paz, la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Dense fraternalmente la paz. Cordero de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo, Ten piedad de nosotros, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo, danos la paz, danos la paz. Danos, danos, danos la paz. Este es el Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word. By this, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him.
Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts that we may be fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Let us be people of hope. Let us be people of conviction. Let us be people of respect. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. God bless America, my home sweet home.